All right, if you're trying to get a big butt, you just found the perfect video because I'm gonna share with you the exact butt workout that gave my beautiful fiance this incredible butt transformation I'm gonna put on the screen right now. So what do you think of your transformation? Damn, I had no ass. So obviously this butt workout is extremely effective and the good news for you is it's not complicated. We really just did like five main exercises and what did you actually think of the workout? It was really hard, I was crying. Crying? Yes, inside, I was crying. Okay, I don't remember her crying, but definitely a challenging workout. No pain, no booty gains. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Okay, let's go through the workout. <laughs> Watching the same thing as you guys. Now, we always start her workouts off with what I like to call a glute activation warm up. So she's complaining right now that she doesn't <laughs> want to do it. I'm saying, listen, you got to do it. You got to activate those glutes. This is so important. So, first of all, donkey kicks is what you see on the screen right now 15 each leg. So, when you do this move, do you feel like it activates like the underbutt area or where do you actually feel it? I feel it in the underbutt area. Underbutt? Yeah. You feel it like in your entire booty or? My yes. entire butt. Your entire butt? Yeah. From top to bottom? <laughs> yes. Okay. It's really hard. So after you get done doing this, you have like a booty pump, right? Definitely. So that's the number one key. When you do this warm up right, you actually should feel like you have a booty pump. You want to activate your glutes just so you have a stronger mind butt connection when we get into the heavier lift. So now you see you're doing some donkey pulses. So basically just like a short range of motion. And you wanna go like 15 each leg. This warm up shouldn't take you more than say five or seven minutes. We just went through one little circuit. So now she's doing a lunge hold. Now make sure that when you do this exercise, you're elevating on that front foot and you're squeezing your glutes. Upper body just very relaxed. So this one I recommend 20, 30 seconds and this is gonna be great for your knees if you have any knee pain during your lower body workouts, but I have her go 30 seconds, and then I have her do a few pulses. Got a little booty pump going on there, huh? Yeah. Now we're getting into the fun stuff. Now we're getting into barbell hip thrust. So this is the butt builder. If you want a big butt, this has gotta be a staple in your routine, but she always tells me like, oh, I see girls do like two or three plates on each side. Most of them will have a smaller butt than my fiance because they ego lift. Just like men ego lift on the bench press, I see women ego lift on the hip thrust. So you wanna go 10 to 12 rep range on this. And then I have her do a little banded uh, superset here. So. You know, obviously putting a band right around the upper thigh, right above the knee, and just pushing out. It's supposed to be more of like a side butt activator, just sort of a superset. So definitely recommend you go three to four working sets of the heavy barbell thrust. You see her do dumbbell stiff leg deadlift. Now, so important on this exercise, you actually want to squeeze your glute muscle at the top for two seconds. So you get a stretch of the hamstrings, a slight bend of the knees on the way down, and you're squeezing that butt. So I would say we've probably done this one more than any other exercise throughout your transformation, huh? Yeah. And you feel like you get a really good you know, booty pump right after you do this? Yeah, always. Always? So what weight do you normally do? 30, 40s. 40s? Wait, are you, are you on roids? No. No? You're natural? Not uh, natural. Dumbbell stiff leg deadlift, you know, we're doing 10 to 12 rep range, and then we're getting into the banded walks. You hate this exercise, right? I do hate it. It's hard. It's very hard. If she hates it, that's how you know it's effective. The more she hates something, the better it is for you guys, I promise you. This superset right here is so effective at just keeping the glutes under tension. So, you know, she's using straps here just so she can easily grip the weight. Or you just... It's easier in the hand so you don't get the callus. Can't be having calloused hands. No. So working set number two you see right here and see that booty being squeezed at the top. You don't need to get a crazy stretch of the hamstrings, but just go down so you get a nice stretch. And then you're driving those hips forward as you squeeze the glute muscles. So once again, any of these exercises, I always get people ask, you know, how many sets and reps. I recommend you go three to five sets if you're more advanced. You can go all the way up to five sets of the hip thrust of the dumbbell stiff leg deadlift. But at the minimum, you wanna do at least three working sets, 10 to 12 rep range. 10 to 12 rep range is gonna be that hypertrophy rep range if you're trying to grow that butt. So now we are doing the iso glute press down. So this is one leg at a time. 
This move is gonna work more of the underbutt, so I have her do this on the assisted pull-up machine and basically just pressing down, trying to squeeze the butt at the bottom and you're gonna feel this one a lot more in your underbutt and then you're gonna come up where your knee is bent a little past 90 degrees and you're gonna go back down. So make sure that when you're pressing down on this, pressing down from the middle of your foot and your heel and not your toe. And you wanna go higher rep range on this. It's one of these exercises that, like if you don't push yourself, it's not gonna be that effective. So make sure you pick a challenging weight. You try to go higher rep range. So this is one of those moves where 12, anywhere from 12 to 20 reps can be really effective and it's really gonna target that underbutt. In terms of like how hard and exercises, this is probably one of the easier ones. Yeah, one of the easiest ones. I mean, it's still hard, but it's not that hard. You feel it in your underbutt, right? Yeah, of course. Now we're gonna get into something very hard. So she hates this. <laughs> Shout out to Charles Glass, who taught me this move and I taught it to uh, my fiance, but it's the pause leg press. Now actually pausing it on the leg press is gonna fire up those glutes because typically when you do the leg press, you're working out predominantly your quads, but when you pause at the bottom and that second pause, you're gonna pause it before you even go halfway up. So that deep second pause is right where you're gonna activate your glutes. So when you pause right there, you feel your butt really work as you press up, right? Yeah. So one second pause, you're gonna wanna do less than a second, I promise you, but if you can go eight to 10 rep range on this with those two pauses, it is going to be so brutally effective. So definitely go less weight than you normally do on the leg press. Like if you normally do say 345s, you probably wanna start off with like a plate to 25. I would say cut the weight in half and go eight to 10 reps. So this is gonna really be a lot of time under tension because you have two pauses, so you're going all the way down, and as you go down, very important, you're keeping your knees out, and you're not locking your knees at the top, so your lower body is just staying in constant time under tension, really effective. So, this is probably like next to squatting, your least favorite exercise, right? Yeah, I think I would rather squat than do this. Really? Because of the pausing, and then the halfway, and then like pushing it up. Yeah, and just like right there. definitely. Here's another exercise she hates. I the, hate everything. <laughs> the deep squat jumps, but nothing. This is a great finisher, first of all. There's a little bit of cardio mixed in. Doing this one, really jumping from a deep position is so effective. So on this exercise, I always make sure that she jumps from a really deep position and she's keeping her knees over her toes and try to actually jump up and explode from a really low position as high as you can. Obviously, you might not be an aspiring athlete or even care about your vertical leap, but you do wanna make sure that you jump from that deep position, which is gonna force those glutes to really activate. So, you know, I have her do three to four sets for 10 to 12 reps and see that booty bouncing. No comment? No comment. All right, all kidding aside, did you get this transformation naturally or did you take some kind of steroids or enhancements that I don't know about? Uh, natural, but I did take superhuman pre-workout for well, all my workouts. I don't believe you're natural. <laughs> of course. You couldn't sneak some roids in the bathroom? No, I wouldn't even know what I'm looking for to be using. Well, you just inject it. Oh my god, what? No. <laughs> Okay, all kidding aside, all she really did take was superhuman pre-workout and a lot of sushi. This is our brand new flavor, my company Elfline's brand new flavor, Miami Vice, and our superhuman pre-workout. This is your go-to, right? Yep, yeah, that's all I take. So all you gotta do is go to elfline.com and use the discount code TROY20, but I wanna get this in the hands of one of you guys for free, for being part of the YouTube fam. So all you have to do is guess down below what city my fiance and I got engaged in like 10 years ago. Did we get engaged? Five years ago. Five year engagement? Five year engagement. So guess down below what city we got engaged in. And if anyone wants to buy the outfit that you're wearing, where can they go? You can go on kittygangs.com and use code YouTubeFam for 20% off. They could buy that for all their girlfriends? Yeah, girlfriends, wives. Wives? You think they have multiple wives? You never know. Some might have multiple wives or side chicks. <laughs> Do you promote side chicks? No, of course not. <laughs> so all I gotta do is go to kittygains.com, but can you at least hook them up with like some kind of discount yeah, code? Yeah, I said family. Uh, YouTube fam for 20% off. Okay, you hooked them up. All right, <laughs> thanks for watching until the end guys. I'm gonna link 
down here and over here some of the recent videos and let me know if you want to see kitty games and some more content and we'll talk to you guys soon. You ain't got no games. You ain't got no weights.